everybody. Uh, today I wanted to do a couple of quick videos. Uh, I'm getting ready to go for spring, for Easter, to Hawaii with my family, um, my husband and our three kids. And so I'm getting a bunch of stuff ready and mostly watercolor kits for myself, travel watercolor kits, and then I'm also getting some stuff together for our daughters. So, um, first thing is, yes, you can see I've got like a total mess here. Um, I bought this. I haven't used it yet. I haven't looked at it hardly at all. Um, I got this on Amazon. I had been looking at it for a while. This is the Travel Watercolor Palette um, from Koi. And um, you can put a little, some paper in here. And this can be, um, act as your easel as well. I'm not sure if I can work with a size this small. So I'm, I'm also bringing um, like 9 by 12 uh, watercolor paper just um, I'll show you that in a second and then um, but I am going to bring something for on the plane that will just be like a 5 by 7 kind of thing or I guess it would be whatever 9 by 12 cut in half is so 6 by something so this comes with um, one watercolor brush this is the size 6 I believe the medium um, yes and then, so you can take this out and use it as a, as a mixing palette. Um, you keep this in here so that you can just keep the water in, um, so this brush separates. And then you've got these two uh, sponges here. Um, I haven't used these watercolors yet, so I am going to do a video, um, a separate video today on using these watercolors because um, I just want to try them out and I know they're not like the best quality. I've heard that they're really good. I've heard that they're not good. I know they're not considered like professional artist quality um, paints, but I've heard that they work fine just for a travel set. So I'm going to be doing a video with those. This is, this is the 24 one and I got the 24 one because I like the setup of it the best. Um, I like the size and the setup the best. And I'm repeating myself. Okay, um, the other thing is I got, so that is what I'm bringing for on the plane. This is what I'm bringing for on the plane. So it's going to be a little bit of a long flight. Um, so I just found this at Michael's today and they were 50% off. And they come with these cute watercolor things. Okay, well we don't care about that. Uh, and then I had this. This is a Bare Minerals makeup thing that I just took the sponge out of. But I'm thinking um, I might like to use this for the set that I use when I'm actually there and um, doing more watercolors and not just on the plane. And I do want to bring some of my more professional, like here's my Daniel Smith, and I have some... Windsor and Newton um, pants and I can take all of these out and so I'm going to kind of take my favorites from all of them and I'm going to put them in here and I was going to try to find a little uh, silicone ice cube tray that I could cut to fit exactly but I couldn't find that so this is what I'm doing I'm just going to take them out and these will definitely double up um, so I'll be making a little card to put in between them. And I think that even if I use this one, I think I could still double them up. But I'm going to use this one because it'll give me room to put my water brushes on top. And it's got a cute little uh, top there. So that's what I'm going to do as well today. And I'll... We'll come back to that. These are some watercolor brushes. So these are the same ones that were in the Koi ones. Well, these are my Jane Davenport ones. I've got a bold and a fine. Um, so I've got the four. Is it the two? Um, the, the fine and the, the larger one, which is an eight 
I believe. They're two, six, and eight. I think they come in. So I've got all those ones. And um, so I'm going to be bringing these uh, for my girls to use as well. And I've got these little um, things I got for essential oils from a Canadian website called sage.ca. Uh, and these hold little essential oil bottles, but I don't need them for that anymore. So I'm going to use them for other brush holders that I might want to take. I've got this travel one here that I'm also going to be taking. Um, I just bought these ones and I don't think I'm going to be taking those. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I love them and so I want to keep them nice. But I am going to take my cheaper, um, my cheaper fine ones and I really like this one just for washes and just for like, like ragged edges. Um, so I think I want to take this one. It's really long, but I'm hoping I can put it in somewhere. And then for my girls, I have got a collection of cheaper um, watercolor pencils. Not my Derwent ones. These are uh, Kimberly and General General's Kimberly. I don't know what they are. Just says, just says that. Whatever that is. So, and then my artist loft, and I just took the colors that, um, I just chose an assortment of colors, and I swatched them out already. So that will just go in a bag, and I've got a couple bags here, I'm going to see, I'm not sure. I have to sharpen some of these a little bit better, so we don't, I will have a sharpener with me, but I don't want to have to worry about it. And I'll probably just put these all in a little bag. I just want to see if they'll fit in here, and I think they will. And this is a cute little golden black bag. So that's perfect. And my swatch should fit in there as well. So the next thing I want to show you is um, my daughters and I are really into um, variety puzzles. And, well, you can see specifically logic problems. We love those. But um, I have, like, I had, I don't know, over 20, 25, 30 uh variety puzzle magazines that uh, I've been collecting over the years and um, so we kind of went through and took out our favorite puzzles the ones that we really like to do and we put them into books and this is using the same kind of uh, thing that I'm gonna do for my watercolor books that I make for myself and my daughters so these are like all our favorite puzzles. Some of them might be done. Uh, not done, but started. And then we have all of this just with all these puzzles we like. So we made a bunch of books. And then, because we do like to have the answers to maybe give us a start, um, <laughs> I took the answers out of every single book and I just combined them all to here. So they don't really make any sense with the page numbers, but I tested it out and actually they're easy. They're really easy to quite, uh, they're really quite easy to find. I'm talking too fast. Um, you just have to look down here, Family Variety Puzzle and Games, look for that here, Family Variety Puzzle and Games, page 177, so then you just have to look for page 177. Anyways, and they're actually not that hard to find, so all the answers, this is the answer key here. Um, so I know this doesn't have anything to do with art, but this is what we did, and we have a bunch of, we have a whole bunch of books that we made, um, but at least, well no, okay, we have five five books in all that we made and that's so much better than 26 and we'll take um, one or maybe two of these on um, the flight with us on the trip with us so um, I'm gonna use the same technique to do the watercolor pages and this is what I'm using for my girls um, they haven't done much watercolor at all, and they have some coloring books that they're going to maybe use with their watercolors as well, with their watercolor pencils. Um, but this is just the Artist Loft uh, 90 pound, and I don't use it much for myself. I kind of use it just for, I don't know, maybe some swatches when I'm doing swatches and just whatever. Um, I will use it in my... Um, in my watercolor kit that I'm making up to separate the pans but what I'm going to do is I am going to cut all of these in half and then there's 20 sheets in all 
and then I'm going to make um, each into a separate pad. So I will do that and then I will come back. All right, so I have um, cut up half of the papers. I've cut up all of them in half. So this will be one of them and this will be the other one. And I also took the chipboard from the back and I'm going to include it in there. Um, so I'm going to, this side's a little rough, and I think I'm going to glue it on this side. And I'll show you how I'll just cover that up. It's not rough on the inside. Um, so what I'm going to do, and this was, um, this again is on the Frugal Crafters. Uh, she has this as a tutorial on her page. So I'm just going to hold these together. And... It might be a good idea to just clip these, actually. I'm going to grab another clip here. I didn't do this with the crossword ones, but I really do want these to stay together. And um, I'm not doing a whole watercolor block, so I'm not doing it all around. I'm just doing it on this one, on this side, for the girls. Um, I am going to do one for myself all the way around. But we're just doing this one for now. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. And then use my spatula. And I'm just doing it in sections to make sure I can kind of keep track of what is going on. Um, yeah. I'll just zoom in a little bit more for you. So now I'll just take this one off. The, when I did the wa the crossword type puzzles, the variety puzzles, um, they were kind of a mess and I wasn't really too concerned about um, keeping them too clean. Um, but they were really messy so you really had to hold them together. Whereas this is just brand new and it's, it's holding together really nicely on its own. And then I'm going to do the end here. Just push that together and make sure I get in here. So it's kind of just trial and error, I think, with how much glue to use. And I'm just checking here. Yeah, that's glued on there. I just want to check and make sure all of these, like, I'm missing a bunch right here. And yeah, so you don't, I found that you don't need to do it all in one swipe with the glue. Um, you can do it in sections and fill in where it needs to be filled in. I found that worked just fine. I don't know if anyone else has tried it where it didn't work for you, but it seems to work for me. Um, okay, I'm going to do this end a little bit better here. I mean, I'd like it to be smooth, but <laughs> this section is really smooth. This, however, not so much. So, I think that's done. I think that's pretty good. The glue's all dry, so I'm just going to try it now. I think it's good. Seems like it's all good. Okay, now I have this piece of paper. These, this is what my older daughter, my 14 year old chose. She chose this paper and this. So I'm going to use this on the back just to cover up that chipboard. And I'm just going to actually, I'm gonna do it on here first. Just to make sure I get a really good seal on there. And then I'm just going to fill it in here on the edges. And push that down. And 
you want, you can kind of just glue those corners down a little bit better. Oh, hot. All right, so I'm going to use this one, and I want it to fold up around from the back and then back over. It doesn't really matter how far it goes overlapping in the back. I just want it to overlap just a little bit. I'm just guessing. I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm going to have this around the back. Okay, it doesn't quite cover it, but I'm going to have something coming over top. Although it wouldn't be a big deal if you just left it like that. You could if you wanted to. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put this down first, I'm trying to figure out the best <laughs> way to do this here. I'm doing this the right way. Yep. I'm just going to put this in here, just a nice little strip, and pull it really tight over that. Push it in. As snug as possible. Okay, and then I think I'm going to use this one, no, nope, not that one, this one here, to come up and over. So I'm just going to put this about here, and then make the fold marks right here, and... I'm just going to give it a little bit more room, maybe even a little bit more. Now what I plan to do is I'm going to put a little fastener here and I'm not sure where they are, I have them. Just those little string things just right here and then I'm just going to put it here and then you've got your book. So hopefully these pages don't come out. So with mine, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to make another one for my other daughter, for my eight-year-old daughter, and then I'm going to make another one um, for myself, but I'm going to glue all these edges so that, because um, I'll be using more water, and um, I want it to be more like a watercolor block. Because I'm just going to use my corner rounder, and I'm just going to round these corners. I think it just looks nice like that. Now I want to... Um, show you the other palette that I made up and the reason why I did this one because um, it was because before I ordered this one and I didn't know if I was going to get this in time and um, I didn't know if I would even like these so I did do I did mix up my other another one with Daniel Smith paints and my Windsor Newton so I have them all ready to go um, and it actually fits quite a bit and then there's you can see that there's still lots of room on top so I have swatched them all out and they're ready to go in there they've been sitting out so they're pretty dry yeah they're pretty dry and I've also got a um, needed eraser in there so that goes in there and then um, I have a little mixing palette if I want it. And then, I think, let's try this. Um, where's my travel? So I've got this, so I'm gonna put that in there. And that can fit in there. And then I wanna put um, some clips in here. I'm gonna fit whatever I can, honestly. I've got some gouache. I'm going to put that in there. I've got clips. Um, not sure if I'll be able to fit everything I want. So I wouldn't mind fitting my other water brushes in here. That would be awesome if I could. Because I've got, well, actually, so my daughters are... Um, going to be having some of these water brushes too so maybe they don't, maybe I don't need to fit all these in here um, 
because I've got two of these. So I might leave one out. And then I've got that. So that all fits in there. Ooh, that is wonderful. Um, this would be nice to fit in there. So I'm not sure. No, I don't need to fit it in there. So I've got this. And then I've got the lid, which I have um, painted white and sealed. As I said, I'm going to put this on there. So I'm just going to glue this on. So how cute is this? That is so cute. I want to paint this. I just don't have time. So this is not going on the plane with me. Um, this is going to be packed in my suitcase. So I've got this um, Tombow blending palette. I'm going to stick that in there because you never know. I might want that somewhere. And um, remember how I said this is too long to fit anywhere? Well, I'm just going to cut this off. I don't know how I'm going to cut this off because I don't think I have a saw. Oh, well, I know I don't have a saw. Um, so i got to figure something out. But I'm going to cut this off because, like, yeah. And then I have this, which fits all of my brushes. So I've just got, um, I've got the smaller one in here, or the medium one. And then I've got just some old brushes. I've got a liner brush, and I've got, like, a couple fine brushes. And they're just whatever like I'm not too they're good brushes um they'll work really good but I don't mind like I won't lose my mind if I if they get a little bit wrecked um or if they get ruined not like these ones which are seriously I got these and it changed my life well I don't know if it changed my life but it changed my watercolor painting which might as well have changed my life um, I might want to put a flat wash in there now that I'm seeing it. I have this one. This might be good to just put a uh, flat. You never know. I might need it. See, the thing is, I'm always like, more is more. So, I know I know. lots of people say, well, if you have too much, then you don't actually work. But I'm, I'm not like that. Like, the more I have, the more likely I am to use it. There's no pockets in this bag, unfortunately. Um, but it is super cute, so I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of, and I think I'm just going to get, I'm going to get a little, um, bag, like those little craft bags you can get. They're like Ziploc bags, except they're for little crafts. So I'm going to get that, and I have some upstairs. These things here. So this is what I use for sketching, and I'm just going to bring a couple of them. Um, I think three is probably good. Um, one's probably good, but, and then I'm just going to bring a number five um, micron black pen, and um, I have this brilliant idea that I'm going to add metallic things to my paintings. This is not something I've done on my watercolors before, but I've decided I'm going to do it. And I have this eraser. I'm not going to bring my battery eraser because it's too heavy. I'm going to bring this, but this thing falls out, so that's kind of annoying. Although I really don't need it. Forget it, I'm not bringing it. I'm just gonna stick that in there though. And then this, this watercolor, or the water, actually this water should probably be stuck right there. And then these can be put on here, or just on top. Now do I have everything that I need? I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably stick this all in there when I'm, you know, actually there and painting. Um, so basically I'm going to use this when I am at our condo and just painting and trying to, you know, do a little bit more serious stuff. I know I'm on holidays, so, um, but you never know. And then this will be kind of on the go painting. Okay, so that's that. Now I want to just show you quickly these that I made. Um, you saw me kind of doing them. Oh, I need to stick that in there and this has to go there too. Um, so this one is my daughter Avery's and this one is Piper and I just used scrapbook paper and then I had some tags on some scrapbook paper and I'm just going to zoom in so you can see them a little better. Wait to see where the camera is. So um, 
I just dipped them and then I glued this ribbon to the back. So, and that's just kind of not necessary, just kind of a cute little thing. And then I did um, Velcro strips here and I, um, oh wow, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so Velcro strips and that just helps to keep it whatever. I mean, this paper is just cardstock, so, you know, it's, but I thought it'd be fun. This is a little bit thinner. And then I glued them all and I, um, so there's 20 sheets in here and all. And they just have a cute little ribbon. If you wanted to do more, you could. You could totally like add some little embellishments on here, add a little charm on there. And then this one is mine. This one is thicker because it's um, better quality paper. It's 150 pound and I did it going up, which makes more sense to me. I don't know why I didn't do these ones going up. And this is um, definitely thicker paper. And I was going to do it all the way around, but I'm not going to on this one. First of all, because I just don't have time. And um, I'm just going to use those little clips. And I think it'll be fine. And honestly, I paint a lot without my paper down. And these are just going to be fun little water, uh, like flowers and whatever. And who knows? It's just it's just a little watercolor journal. And um, so that's those. Aren't they? Like, I love them. They are the cutest things. I am obsessed with these. They're so cute. Um, I don't think I have anything else to show you. I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And, um, you know, maybe I'll try these out. And if you want to see more specific measurements I, for this, I think um, the Frugal Crafter has more specific measurements. Honestly, I just eyeballed it and I find that easier than trying to measure things. I mean, I do have to measure like, you know, this is nine inches across um, and this is six. But, you know, as for these flaps, I just did whatever, um, which is why they're all different sizes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, watch my second part where I use these. And then um, I will see you when I'm back from holidays.